Hi, I'm Vinny from Hacks for Data Analysis, and this is the Hack of the Week. In this video, I'll show you how to split data into roles. First, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and don't forget to check out our web page. In this example, we have a list of user IDs and some account numbers. And what we want to identify is if multiple users have access to the same account. But notice on these two roles that we may have multiple accounts assigned per user. So how can we do that? In Power BI, this is actually very easy to do. So you can see that in this example, our data is split by a semicolon, or in other words, it's delimited by semicolons. So let's start by selecting the column. In our case, it's the column account, and then right click on it, click on split column by delimiter. And here you can specify what is your delimiter. In our case, the semicolon. So click here. And you can see that there's already an option for that. But if you don't see your option here, you can just customize it and type what is your delimiter. But for this example, let's stick to the semicolon. And then split add. Since in our data set, we want to know all of the accounts. So we want to split it every time we see a semicolon. So I just leave it as it is by default. Now the trick is go to advanced options, split into roles, press OK, and done. Now you can see the Power BI split the user ID per account. But notice there's still some issues with the data because we had blank spaces in the data. To fix that, let's right click on the column, transform, and trim. This will clean up any undesired blank space at the start or the end of the text field. Now close and apply. And now we can select account. Click here, make sure it's in don't summarize. And let's count how many user IDs per account. So let's drag and drop user ID to the values. And let's just count. Let's expand. I'll click here to sort the data. And you can see here that for these account, there are two user IDs. If you want to see which are the user IDs, maybe let's just add a new table. Let's move it here. Let's select the user IDs. So now whenever I click on the account, which has two users, I can see which are the users that have access to this account. So this was the video this week, it was a short one, but this trick is very useful and very helpful. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you next week. Bye.